All right, I got the adapter piece in today. I reinstalled it. There's that little guy right there. Uh, that thing cost me seven dollars off eBay. Got the plugs in there. I did not touch any settings in the BIOS, so we're gonna see what happens when I turn it on. This has got Windows 98 second edition. Nothing else installed on it, just bare bones. Uh, just this, actually, I, I put the SATA drivers on it, so now it's on A C H I. Go ahead, turn it on. Not touching anything. Okay, and let me see here. See, mouse works now. And keyboard. Very responsive. And yes, that is a legacy uh, port, a chipset that's on the serial bus that goes right through the same keyboard and mouse, uh, the little adapter. This is the M81, I think, center. Now I can control Windows 98 with no problems. It even comes up what? Intel Core i7-2600K CPU, 2 gigs of RAM. I thought that was pretty cool. And this is like PCI cards and stuff that's uh, like uh, still needs a little bit to uh, tinker with. But it found the most uh, everything off this motherboard. But this is probably due to the graphics card probably being there. But I need to test out the. Uh, like the USB ports and everything like that. Yeah. But yeah, I want to see what happens uh, after I save everything. You don't seem to find the USB port systems. But I might have to tinker with that in the BIOS. If I can't get it, there's always a PCIe uh, PC, I got two PCI uh, slots where I can just buy a uh, USB 3.0, I mean a USB 2.0 cards uh, with PCI uh, slots so I can put them in here. That's no problem. I bypassed that and I got my uh, ODG Sound Blaster 2 card that for it works with Windows 98. Uh, we'll bypass the sound so I have sound. Also I got uh, Ethernet. Um, just made for Windows 98. It has it's only 100 megabits per second, but it still works. All right. Thank you for watching. This was just a short clip of what I got going on. All right. See y'all later. Oh, I want I went before I shut it off. I want to go to uh, try to get to BIOS right quick. I think it's escape or delete. Can't remember. Dang. Uh, okay, I push pause right quick. All right, back. Okay, finally got in the bios. Uh, bios. I have to do this pretty quickly. Under under here, a SATA controller is enabled. A A H C I. External uh, SATA port disabled because yeah we're not going to use that. But yeah, see you got it. I got it set to enabled SATA controller AHCI. I will do this live. Um, let's see here. Okay, now let's see if it boots up to Windows. In in the SATA AHCI mode. There we go. That, that's how quick it is. 
Wow. Still got, because I don't have no uh, video drivers yet on here, but that's okay. I just like to play around with this. All right, thank you for watching. Be back later.